Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing uh, pretty well today, mostly because in between episodes we spent a lot of time getting geared up. So if you take a look, quick look here, um, we've basically got our main tools back in order. We got our shovel, axe, pickaxe, and sword, along with the bow, uh, back at our disposal. And then we're in the process of getting our armor back. So we have everything here except for our helmet, which we still need to get a helmet enchant, but that's not a big deal. And on top of that, we've spent a lot of time uh, between episodes collecting that sweet, sweet iron. So we have more than a full row of iron block stacks. So we are going to be set for a while. This thing has been absolutely pumping out the iron. And it actually has been working really well. I haven't had to do any tweaks or fixes to it. So it's working really consistent, which is awesome. And honestly, a little surprising. But either way, I had a ton of fun with the episode. Uh, last time and I'm really excited for what we got planned today So the cool thing about all of this gear that we have obtained between episodes Obviously besides our elytra we had to go out and get that is that it was all earned through trading Whether it be trading to get the actual piece of armor from our armor trader. So this guy has actually been supplying All of our pieces that we need um, not with good enchantments. I've just been disenchanting them, but it's been effectively really cheap diamond armor and then we have all of our armor guys over here so oh, here's our sharpness guy we got a fortune fortune three we have depth strider prop four feather falling so i just need to get a couple more of these guys in place with some helmet enchants and we should be good to go and then obviously we have our mending guy who and we've been using him to put many on all of our stuff so we are uh we're definitely back in the green looking good on our gear but one of the things that i'm learning is that I already knew this, but what is really showing now that I've been trading more is that we don't have the farming capabilities to effectively keep up with these guys restocking their trades. So with all that said, we are going to be beginning our farming district today. So we are going to begin starting our farming district on this side of the tunnel. Um, I figured this would be a good spot because it's one close to all of our villagers and two, we haven't built anything over here yet. So this farming district is not going to be small scale. In fact, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. And it's also going to be pretty fun, I think. I'm really excited for it. So I went ahead and I laid out a rough shape here with some temporary blocks. And I've also cleared out a ton of trees. This entire area was filled with many two by two trees. It was a lot of wood that I got. Um, this is going to be our carrot field. So I want this district to have giant natural looking fields for at least the three main crops which are going to be carrots potatoes and wheat so if i fly up here to our temporary uh, landing pad and don't die okay you can look down and see the rough shape that i've created for our carrot field now this is completely subject to change and i literally made this up as i was going just temporarily placing blocks in a big rough circle-y square shape. So I'm super excited for this. And the first thing we're going to do before we actually get started on building our farm or fields is start terraforming this area and removing the ugly, ugly podzils. So what better of a way to do that than the form of a time lapse?
And after three hours straight of digging and replacing dirt, we now have a much better looking area to begin building our cara farm. So I really like the way that the land ended up being shaped when this all came together. I think my favorite thing about it is how it ended up sloping up into the side sort of as it went along. I think it, I think this is going to help add a lot of depth to the field and make it more fun to traverse through. Also, it will allow for water streams, which I want to have some water streams in here more naturally flow through it. Uh, thanks to the elevation change. So we won't have to be adding any, anything to help the water flow, which will be nice. So I've gone ahead here and I've laid out with some wool, a rough plan for where things are going to go. So to start, this green wool is representing where our path is going to be. So we have our path going all the way through here and it's very, uh, very winding, has many different directions. And I want this to be able to lead to all of our different areas and a lot of the places where it's leading to like over here in the back i don't have a plan for yet but that's not the point next we have the blue will which quite obviously i think is going to represent where we want to have some water streams flowing so i've gone ahead and laid out i i think it makes sense to have one going down this way because this is where it's sloping the most so we can have one flow all the way down through here perhaps all the way to the beginning then I added one over to the side too, which we'll see. The, the water is going to be something something that as we kind of build more with it, we can um, play and find a way to work with it. The white circle in the center, this is going to be our main structure that will be in the field, which is actually going to house our automatic carrot farm. So we'll, we'll go over the design a little bit later in the episode when we start building the farm. But on top of having the field... Um, be a main aesthetic for the farm, I'm going to have an actual output of carrots. So I won't have to actually manually harvest all these fields, all these fields, all these carrots in the field. Then lastly, this gray well represents what's going to be our irrigation system. So this irrigation system is, will essentially be a water stream to transport the items from our auto farms back to our storage area, which we haven't built yet. So here is a mock-up that I've designed for the irrigation system. So I want this to be a key visual component in our farms as well as a key functional component. So it's sort of inspired by like a ditch, but I've kind of spruced it up some more with some coarse dirt, some mossy stone, leaves. Then I have the water stream in the center. And I want this to uh, cross through our path so we could perhaps have like bridges walking over it and... I want to be able to walk up to it and visually see our items flowing through it, but I also want it to look cool. You know what I mean? It looks like it kind of fits in with the dirty farmland, so to speak. So my plan right now is to have something like this in all of our, um, all of our farms. Well, at least all of our main right, crop type farms. And it's going to be a fun way for us to transport items. With all of this said, I'm going to get started on building our structure that will house our auto carrot farm. So I'm going to build this first, mainly on only because we are like completely out of carrots. I think I have just a few stacks to my name, which is not nearly enough. So the quicker we can get this up, the quicker we can get our field planted and then detailed. So I'm going to get working on this and I will be back shortly for a progress update. All right guys, so I've went ahead here and built the first layer of our farming silo. So the idea behind this in terms of the lore potentially would be that the people who work in the fields and manage the fields every day um, need somewhere where they can store their crops. So after a long day of work, they can come back to the silo near the center of the field and drop off any supplies or any carrots they might have and what this means functionally for us, however, is that we can conceal our auto carrot farm in here. So, and it's going to be villager powered also. So you can see here I've added just one layer. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Oh, I have my ladder. So you can see here, um, I've added just one layer to what's going to be our crop farm. This is a custom design. Ignore this dirt. This is for transport, but it's a uh, custom design. I did take some inspiration from others design but really um, great, pretty straightforward there's going to be a villager 
the center here and there's going to be our farmer and when he goes to share crops with the guy um they're going to get auto sucked up by the minecart hoppers so and then this is also tileable so we can go as many um layers upward as we would like so next in terms of the actual build this is only about i would say a quarter or a fifth of the way done so this is going to be one layer um I haven't decided exactly how tall I want to build this thing yet, but I know it needs to get quite a bit higher because it's if it's going to be a silo, it needs to be much taller. And for the aesthetic, I think it's quite simple, but I, I think it's going to work. You know, I really like the stone along the bottom here, and maybe we can add a bit more stone along the bottom, but I'm going to keep it how it is for now. And then I think the strip logs and cobblestone add some nice texturing as well. Um... And then in terms of a roof design, I know we're not there yet, but in terms of a roof design, I don't have one yet. I've been messing around in creative a little bit, but I can't really find one that seems to work. So uh, we'll worry about that later though. I'm not too worried, but yeah, guys, I'm going to get uh, chopping away at this and I'm going to set up and start moving some villagers into the first layer so we can get some carrot production going ASAP. Um, also, I don't plan on showing much or any of the villager transport because that's not really that fun for me. And Honestly, I've been showing it a lot anyways uh, with our recent project, so not too worried about that. But I'm going to get working on this, and I'll be back in just a little bit. And in an attempt to save my own sanity and prevent any further aging, I think we are going to take a break from moving villagers for a while. So you can see here we've added in some more layers to our carrot farms. In particular, we now have five functioning layers take a look down here i actually haven't looked in a little while to see how many carrots this thing's producing but holy cow okay so this thing is absolutely pumping them out also i don't know how that bread got in there but uh oh well <laughs> so if we if we step outside here you can see that i've added in fourth layer to our farming silo i think that this is a good place to uh to call it but we might be able to add another one in the future. I just haven't decided yet. And if anyone has a good idea or design, shape, anything like that for a roof, um, let me know in the comments. Either you can try and describe it or maybe you could even send me a screenshot on Twitter. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description to the Twitter account. Um, but yeah, so some good progress has been made. And now I think it's a good time to start with some detailing for the carrot farm. And I figured that a good place to start would be with the path because we are going to have to ultimately place down a whole crap load of carrots and I want to have a path laid out first so we can have carrots laid out around the path and not have to remove carrots to build the path in so but what I think I'm going to do is uh, with these shears just simply go through and start removing chunks of these green wool and then I can go back through here and start converting this section to a rough path shape. And once we have um, continued this all the way along, we can go back through and add some detailing afterwards. So give me a little bit here. I'm gonna get working on this and I'll be back in just a little bit. Well, the time has finally come. We have went through and 
replaced all of our water holes with uh, waterlogged trapdoors, so now we can walk over them nice and easily, and they don't stick out, which is going to be really awesome. Don't open that, Brock. Come on now. And I've loaded my inventory up with not one half of a diamond pick, but a one and a half diamond pick. Diamond picks. No, let's start that over. With one and a half diamond hose, because I just have the feeling that this thing isn't going to last. But we'll see. Um, if you guys want to place a bet right now in the comments about if my two hoes will last until the end of this planting or not. But we'll see. Um, but I'm going to get busy here. We got. I don't think there's a really good way of doing this other than just to grind through it. And then when we get through doing this, we get to go through and plant carrots in all these spots. So it's a bit grindy. Not going to lie. But... I think the carrots are really gonna help this thing look like a carrot field, right? Isn't that work? Don't don't carrots make carrot fields look like carrot fields? I think. I sure hope so, because this is not, does not look like a carrot field right now. But anyways, let's get busy on this, and we'll be back very shortly. Oh my god! <laughs> so that half durability hoe just broke, and I've not even completed like the first layer and a half oh man the bets are off there's no way that this hoe is gonna last hang on i have an idea on breaking three guy we're counting on you do your magic i'm feeling crazy <laughs> we're gonna load this hoe right on up unbreaking three mending diamond hoe get it here first folks <laughs> The sad thing is I think that we're going to need this if we really want to save some diamonds. Otherwise, I'd probably use, like, multiple sets of diamonds just to get this planted in. That's not worth it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's safe to say it was a good bet to uh, put those enchantments on that hoe. But anyways, as much happiness as I am feeling right now to be done <laughs> tilling the soil, and for as much hard work as that was, I don't plan on basking in, in this glory at all because quite frankly without any carrots planted here this looks like crap with all the just the brown and more brown and light brown and dark brown and then spruce brown and then more brown so i need to get planting because i just want this thing to be done Ugh. i think it's finally safe to say that our carrot field actually looks like a carrot field now so that's exciting it took long enough right Oh man, this was quite grindy. I mean, not super grindy, but definitely grindy enough to the point where it was just slightly to plant all those carrots down. But oh man, I've uh, let it grow for a little while here and they're all pretty much fully grown in now. And the last thing that I want to get into for the episode today is I want to get working on the irrigation system. So I'm not going to worry about the function of it yet. So I don't want to set up item transport because I don't have a storage system yet. But I do want to get this, um, the trench at least started. So we have a, so we, I want to see how it looks too, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to get going on this, and I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. This is, if anything, gotten me really excited for more aesthetic, fun, large-scale projects that we can work on. Because I think right now the only thing, <coughs> excuse me. The only thing holding this back is that it sort of sticks out in the world because it's like the first big build that we've created, you know what I mean? But I think as we as we expand our farming district out in different directions and add carrot or add a potato and wheat farms to it, it's going to look pretty good. So there's no real way around this. I actually should have thought this through a bit better, but this is what it's this is what the actual trench is going to look like. But yeah, then we're just going to add in some detailing blocks. So we'll put in some or start here. We'll also get out our mossy stone. Just throw in some of those sort of randomly. And I also want to want to mess around with lighting this up with some glowstone, perhaps. But then, of course, we can cover it with our leaves. I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. And then our water will flow this way. So let me get work on this a bit more. And um, oh, last thing really quick before I before I cut. I want to see how these fences look also. Let's look. 
Yeah, that that is one thing that sinks that it gets rid of the filled soil there. So maybe we can replace the blocks the fences are on with a different bottom block, but I think it's gonna look cool. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. It's gonna break up the field so nicely. So let me get working on this and I'll be back in just a bit. Well guys, I've gone ahead and I've added in our first irrigation system into our farming district. And I gotta say, it's the little things like this that really are making this carrot field look much, much better. I thought initially that I would like to have just a big plop of carrots, but I'm realizing it's these things that can break it up a little bit that really add the life that make it unique. And oh my gosh, I am absolutely in love with this. The I went pretty heavy on the mossy cobblestone and I really think it adds in a lot. So I'm gonna keep that. If there's anything else that you guys have ideas for or other little touches I can do to add more life to this thing, uh, please leave a comment and let me know. This is by no means done. It's always a work in progress and I'm gonna be adding some more stuff in between episodes. Um, particularly, I kind of want to get a wall built around this thing, or at least start with a design. I have a couple of ideas, but I'm not fully excited yet. And then I want to have some more, maybe small tidbits scattered in the in the field, you know, here and there. And then I also, real quick, I want to show you this bridge that we made too. But yeah, I had a lot of fun um, digging out the, the ditch there. I, the ditch makes it sound so lame, but yeah, it's pretty much a ditch, but it's cool. It's a cool ditch, right? Um, but yeah, this is pretty dang cool. We have this very simple bridge like the ones that we built over there and comes right across and you can easily, I didn't put any guardrails, so you can very easily toss items in here. And okay, well, they get stuck if you toss them there, apparently. That doesn't make any sense. We'll work that out. But in other testing, if you put them at the front, they do go all the way to the end and once we get a better storage idea, we can link this up to our actual carrot farm. So that's going to be really cool. But I am out of time for this episode. So if you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like. And if you have any comments or questions, leave a comment or question down below. And I will absolutely answer you. Um, particularly, I want to know what you think of this. And I want to know what else you think I should add. Because I definitely think it needs some more details. So let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, night, whatever it is, and I will catch you in the next one.